close your eyes and try to breathe a refreshing breath. After all, the breath is the force of life. And trying to be on good terms with it. Because if you're not on good terms with the breath, you're missing out on a lot. So allow the breath to flow smoothly. Listen to what the body needs. It says the same as with any friendship. You can't just walk up and shake hands and be friends right away. To be a real friend, you have to hang around. As Buddha said, you have to spend a lot of time with someone and you have to be very observant to see what kind of person they are. It's the same with the breath. You have to spend a lot of time with the breath and be observant. What does it need? What does the body need? And what, what can the breath provide? Is there any place where you're squeezing the breath and not allowing it to come in fully? That first impulse to breathe, allow it to flow throughout the whole body. Try not to block it. And then ask yourself which other parts of the body need some breath energy that they're that are not getting it right now. Just put that picture in your mind that it is possible for the breath to flow there. Of course, we're not talking about air going into the different parts of the body. It's the energy that flows. But ideally, it should be able to flow all the way down to your toes, all the way down to your fingertips, all through all the various parts of the body. And it should flow without conflicting. Sometimes you'll find yourself breathing in one direction on one side of the body, and the opposite direction on the other side of the body, and they meet and they, they conflict. So try to think of things flowing around smoothly. Keep being observant and spend a lot of time. And you come to know the breath and what it can do for you. And the breath will be able to help you. You listen to it, it'll listen to you. It's a good friendship. So learn how to get on good terms.